What's up, boss fam? Welcome back to a brand new video. So today we're gonna be very basic. We're gonna be going to Starbucks to try their latest fall drinks. Now, this was a highly requested video from a lot of you guys. Just kidding, nobody really requested it. But I've been um, all about pumpkin spice, uh, you know, as soon as like September 1st came. I think we've had like probably like five uh, pumpkin spice cold brews, cold foams. Um, I had a pumpkin spice latte the other day. We had a pumpkin spice cheesecake from Cheesecake Factory. Me and Lucy, we just love anything pumpkin spice. Like it's bomb and I love that it's only like seasonal, right? You can only get it during a certain time of the year. So it just makes it even more special. Uh, but today we're gonna go ahead and do, I guess like a part two to the uh, trying Starbucks drinks uh, or recommendation Starbucks drinks that you guys recommend me. Now I asked on my Instagram, give me your fall Starbucks drinks recommendations. And um, I got a ton of options to choose from. So it was really hard to narrow it down. I was kind of surprised because I thought there was only like three or four like fall drinks at Starbucks, but you guys got creative and kind of sent me so many different types and do two pumps of white mocha, two pumps of chai latte, cold foam, uh, all kinds of crazy shit that I am, I've never done from Starbucks. I'm very basic. I just order from what's on the menu and I don't even try to get creative, but today we're gonna get creative so hopefully you guys find a new drink for this fall season. Uh, I'm parked outside of the Starbucks here in Santa Ana, California. Um, never really been to Santa Ana and randomly here. Um, not sure if you guys could tell, but we are we're doing a picnic right now. Uh, and this is what I'm doing during my two hour break. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Most importantly, don't forget to subscribe because we're on our way to 1,000 subscribers. Ooh, 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 ooh. So hopefully you guys can help me get there really quick, at least hopefully before the end of 2020. Tell your prima to subscribe, your tío, your abuela, your ex novio, anyone, just tell them to subscribe to my channel. I just want to get to 1,000. I'm gonna do a really cool giveaway. So stick along, maybe you guys could win that. Uh, but let's go ahead and get our Starbucks drinks. <laughs> all right, you guys, we got all of our drinks. Boom. So let me tell you guys what I got. Um, and I have to, well, I'll, I'll, I'll put in a little like shot somewhere over here of who recommended it. Um, but we got four different drinks. Um, I'm super excited to try it. You could just smell like the cinnamon, the fall here. Like my whole car just smells like fall now. But some of my favorites, um, and I, I have had one of these drinks and I can't wait to tell you guys about it because I feel like I'm like hooked on this drink right now. Now, this first drink we have, Lucy found this drink on TikTok. Now, um, it is a iced chai latte with oat milk and topped with pumpkin cream cold foam. So, super good. Looks like this like orangey, like beige, creamy color, um, but super delicious and it's on ice. But man, when that cold, like, cold foam or that pumpkin spice um cream cold foam hits your freaking tongue it's just like boom electricity coming through you like it's bomb mm. oh so good so good this is literally my favorite all over tiktok again it's an iced chai latte with oat milk topped with a pumpkin cream cold foam must have must have this fall season all right let's go into drink number two now this is going to be on the warm side this is a it's a tall now sh, uh, i think my friend devon recommended me this one and she recommended a grande now i was being cheap and i got all tall drinks because i didn't want to you know make them go to waste and throw them out after so i got a tall misto with one pump of pumpkin spice and one pump of white mocha and uh it's blonde coffee now she recommended again a grande with two pumps of pumpkin spice two pumps of, of white mocha so i just kind of adjusted it so that it fits into a talk up because i don't want to be all cracked out so this is a warm drink again um never had anything like it so let's see what it tastes like
Ooh, this is good. It's like, um, almost like a, kind of like a hot chocolate, but it's, um, like mixed in with, with coffee. I guess that's what it is, right? Mmm. Wow, this is like, went on a cold day, and you just like want a oh, nice okay. hot drink. Lucy's here next to me. It's a kind of like a, it tastes like a, like a hot chocolate with, with coffee flavor, right? It's, it's really good. Yeah, it tastes like a hot chocolate with like a hint of coffee. Yeah, yeah. Mm. It's really good. Um, the one thing that I don't really taste in this is the pumpkin, pumpkin. spice, yeah, I right? Pumpkin. I don't know, maybe she forgot or maybe it's kind of overruled by the coffee, but I don't really taste the pumpkin spice. So I feel like I could drink this any time of the year. Um, I wonder um, what you could substitute when they don't have pumpkin spice. If you, Devon, if you see this video, let me know what else I could substitute with it. But it's really good. I just don't taste the pumpkin spice in it. Mm. Who knows, maybe the girl forgot, but thank you for that recommendation. Definitely adding it to my list of hot drinks. Like usually my hot drinks for Starbucks is either just like a black coffee um, if I want to get cracked out, I order, I'll order a, um, what's it called? What's the caramel one called? I don't know. I forgot what it's called, but anyways, back to our other drinks. So this one is a, um, salted caramel mocha frappe and it is their seasonal fall drink. It's all over their menu. It's all over the store. Now I was excited for this one because I haven't had a, frapp a frappuccino in like a long time. Like I don't order frappuccinos. Which is that one? Uh, salted caramel mocha oh. frappuccino. Um, yeah, I feel like I just don't order these. They like, they're, I feel like they just have a ton of sugar, the whipped cream, the topping. It's just like a very like kid drink. Um, not that I'm not like a kid, but you know, I just don't, I'd rather just get coffee. But I'm excited for this one, of course. Salted caramel mocha frappe. Mm. Oh my God, that is good. It tastes a little nutty. Mm. Nutty? Yeah, it has like a hazelnut flavor for some crazy reason. Doesn't it? Yeah, I know what, you're, I know what you mean. It tastes like... Like roasted or something. Maybe it's the salted caramel. I'm not sure. I feel like I've had a chocolate that tastes like this. Yeah. Like a chocolate bar. Yeah, yeah, it's really good. Salted caramel mocha, frappuccino, whipped cream, and I think they drizzle, of yeah. course, caramel on it. Um, it's really good, it's super sweet. It's too sweet, I think. Yeah, I definitely would not, like, order this, um, like, this is, you know, if I would go to Starbucks. Tall. Yeah, it is. This is a grande. No, it's just T.I., I think that means tall, <laughs> doesn't it? <laughs> I think it means tall. When I, I think the cup is a grande, though. Mm-mm. There's a smaller one. I don't know, but not bad, not bad. All right, so this is gonna be, mm, actually before we dive into our last um, last drink, um, I wanna make this video a little longer and I wanted you guys to hear what happened to me at the beach yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> so I, we were at the beach, you know, doing our thing, setting up a picnic and I was grabbing... No, start from the beginning. What do you First, mean? First, on our way there... Oh, no, okay. no, 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 I don't want to talk about that. That's going to get me mad. That's going to get me upset. <laughs> I don't want to talk about that. Comment That's down not... below if you want to know what happened to him before. <laughs> no, no, I don't want to talk about that. Then we're past that. We're past that incident. No, so we got to the beach. Whatever, we were setting up for a picnic. Um, the couple's about to get there, and um, I had picked up their pizza for them. So they had pizza... Uh, a box of pizza and a bag of wings or a box of wings or whatever it was in my car so um, I was gonna place it at the very last minute you know so that the food didn't sit outside okay guys at the beach there are seagulls that are savages these are like savage seagulls that's what we're gonna call them okay and these seagulls anytime you leave chips or anything out in the open food wise I don't know how I don't know like if this is a thing for seagulls like they have a scent like a fucking hawk they will literally 
come and attack your food and like want to eat it all. I swear. So we were, um, I was placed, I was, I got out the car and I was walking on the sand, like across the sand to get to the picnic and I'm carrying a box of pizza and all of a sudden I can like see birds like flying around me, like a flock of seagulls just like flying and I'm like trying to like speed walk so I could kind of lose them and tell me why more seagulls come and I'm like holding a box of pizza in one hand and I'm holding a bag of chicken wings on the other and I think the smell of all the food and the aroma like attracted a whole mess of birds and I started like running I started running towards the picnic <laughs> and I turn around and I see like these birds I'm like right here running and I see these birds just flying over me like they were literally chasing me like across the damn beach I thought that one of the birds was gonna like come down and like want to like dive their nose into the box of pizza or something and I was like swinging the bag of the wings I was like shoo 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 and I was trying to get them out of the out of the food and stuff and I didn't want to like just place the food on the table for all the birds to come so whatever i ended up placing it hiding it under a pillow but yeah really funny story i got i got attacked by seagulls at the beach and yesterday. i was like i was like far away from him i was like watching him from afar yeah. and then he walks back acting like i didn't see nothing <laughs> literally ran out of breath because i was like running away from them um super funny and if you guys ever go to the beach just be extra careful with your food because i'm telling you those are like savage fe uh, seagulls like they don't feed them or something because they're freaking starving and they want to get anything you want um all right so our last drink of the day our lot our last basic it's the most basic fall drink probably at starbucks besides the psl the pumpkin spice latte um this is their pumpkin um pumpkin Pumpkin spice frappuccino. Pumpkin spice? I thought it was just pumpkin frappuccino. No? Pumpkin. So pumpkin spice frappuccino. Um, of course, it only comes here during the fall time. Um, I personally have never had it. Um, I've had a pumpkin spice latte. So let's see how close or similar it tastes to that. And of course, like my ultimate favorite cold brew is the pumpkin spice cold brew. It's like bomb. Mm-mm-mm. Wow, this tastes like, um, it tastes like the uh, pumpkin spice latte, just iced. And I want to say it's a little bit sweeter, probably because of the whipped cream. Let me mix it all in there. They do top the top part with some, uh, looks like cinnamon. Um, there's no drizzle. Mm. Oh, I just feel like that pumpkin spice just like going through my body and I just feel like I'm turning into a basic ass like person that just is all about fall or some shit, you know? Wow, so good. So good. Mm. Dang. I just love everything pumpkin spice. It's bomb. Okay, but you finished it off. <laughs> uh, well, actually, before we uh, close out the video, I do want to tell you guys to check out the um, pumpkin spice cheesecake from cheesecake factory freaking amazing like amazing amazing it's so good if you like pumpkin pie it tastes very similar to pumpkin pie except it's um cold and you could kind of obviously taste the cream cheese in it it's super good it just like melts in your mouth to give it to you with some whipped cream on top oh my god with a glass of milk let me tell you guys Check it out. You guys won't regret it. Thank me later. You're welcome. I'll see you guys in my next video. Don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments what Starbucks drinks you're going to try this fall. Or if you already have one that maybe I didn't try and you think that I would like, let me know in the comments. I'm always down to try new drinks. And once again, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace.